Dear audience, today it's all about abbreviation. In this lecture, we will discuss about abbreviation, its origin, entomology, definition, types with examples. Dear audience, first of all, we talk about the origin of that particular kind of an abbreviation. The word abbreviation has been derived from Latin word abbreviatus, which means to shorten. Dear audience, if we sound the word abbreviated, then it will work as a verb. And while writing this word as abbreviating, it will work as present participle. Now, I talk about the definition of an abbreviation. An abbreviation is a shortened or contracted form of a word or a phrase. Dear audience, now I talk about the types of an abbreviation. Now look at your slide, dear spectators. There are possible seven types of an abbreviation. The first one is truncation. The second one is initialism. The third one is acronyms. The fourth one is clipped words. The fifth one is word matches. The sixth one is shortenings. And the last possible type of an abbreviation is contraction. Dear audience, now all those seven types, the first one was truncation, and here I would talk about in detail. This type of an abbreviation consists only of the first part of a word. These are often used when referring to proper titles such as months of the year or days of the week. Dear spectators, the thing to be noted that in truncation there are just mentioned months of the year or days of the week. Now look at its examples. Dear spectators, on your left side, there is a caption of word and on your right side you have a caption of truncation. The word is Saturday and its truncation is set. The next one is also a day of a week is Wednesday. Will be written under the caption of truncation as wet. The next one is a month of a year and that is January will be written as Jan. And the next one is also the month of a year is December, will be written as DC December. Dear spectators, on your slide there is the next type of an abbreviation and that is initialism. First of all, I talk about its definition. It is a type of an abbreviation where the first letters of words in a phrase are used to make a term which may or may not be sounded or pronounced a new word. The examples are here on your slide, dear audience. The word is NATO. It is meant to be North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Here I would like to tell you some detail of that particular word NATO. NATO is an alliance of 30 countries from North America and Europe. And this particular organization was formed on 4th of April 1949 in Washington, a city of America. Its basic aim is to safeguard or protect the Allies' freedom and security by political and military means. Once again, 
the aim or purpose is to safeguard or protect the allies freedom allies is meant to be all those 30 countries which are the members of nato its freedom and security by political and military means the focus is on freedom and security by political and military means and its headquarters is situated in brussels a city of vienna now look at its examples dear spectators one more example is ir as international relations and the next one is sar south asian association for regional cooperation Dear audience, I would like to share some information regarding the SARC. SARC is an economic and political regional organization established on 8th December 1985. It consists of eight member countries. Dear spectators, it needs to be known that it is an organization of South Asian countries. The next example is FBI. It is meant to be Federal Bureau of Investigation. It is an American intelligence agency established on 26th of July 1908. And the name of its first chief was Stanley Fink. Now I talk about its rules. How to formulate it? Rule 1. In initialism, we don't use full stop, which is also called uh, periods within the letters. Like FBI, IR, and SAR, there's audience, you are watching on your slide that in the theory words, we don't have any stop, full stop, or periods within the letters. And the next second rule is that every starting letter is written in capital as you are watching on your slide. The first one is NASA. Here I would like to share some information about NASA. NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration. NASA was started on 1st of October 1958 as a part of United States government. What is the working of NASA? It is also need to be known. The working of NASA is NASA is in charge of US science and technology that has to do with airplanes or space. It is meant to be that all the activities which are done in space are exercised by NASA. And the next example of initialism is TV stands for television and the next one is CD stands for CASISC. Now here on your slide is the next type of an abbreviation acronyms. First of all, I would talk about its origin. The word acronym has been derived from Greek word across means topmost. And then highest combined with onym from the Greek word onima means name or word. Now here, I will talk about the entomology of the type of abbreviation acronym. Its entomology is When was the first acronym used in the history of English? And it is the first ever known acronym was used in the telegraphic code by Walter P. Phillips for the United Press Association in 1879. And the code abbreviated was Supreme Court of the United States and its acronym was SCOUTS. Now I talk about its formation or rules. 
The first two is acronyms are formed from the first few letters of each of the words they are based on. Rule 2. They are pronounced or sounded as a word and do not take full stop or periods or space within the letters. Now look at its examples as well. You have some examples of acronyms over on your slide there. The word is BOGO meant to be buy one, get one free. The next pin, personal identification number. The third one is SF as soon as possible and the fourth one is FB as Facebook. Now the next one and the fifth one is OPEC. It stands for Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. It was founded in Baghdad, a city of Iraq on 14th of September 1960. And at the time of its establishment, there were just five member countries named Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia and Venezuela. But now the present member countries of OPEC are three. It is meant to be that eight more members have been included in it. Now I talk about the difference between acronym and abbreviation. As we have already talked about the definition of abbreviation, it is a shortened version of an existing word. The word on your left side on the slide is doctor and its abbreviation is DR. And it is followed by a full stop or a period as well. The next one is Mr. It is a word and its abbreviation is M capital and all small letter. It is also followed by a full stop or a period. And the next one, acronym. The first letter of each word to create a wholly new word. It is meant to be an acronym. The word is UNICEF. And its acronym is United Nation Children Emergency Fund and it was created on 11th of December 1946. Dear audience, now the next type of an abbreviation is clipped words. Dear audience, the spell of the word clipped is C L I double P E D, but it is sounded as not D but T as clipped words. Its definition is a word formed by dropping one or more syllables from a longer word or phrase with no change in meaning. Dear spectators, in the first line, you are watching the word syllables on your slide. Syllables is meant to be that how many passes one takes while producing a word. For example, if I sound a word elephant, then how many passes I take while sounding it? Elephant. It is meant to be that I took three passes while pronouncing this particular word elephant. Dear fellows, now look at the examples of clipped words. On your left side, on the slides are original words and on your right side, on your slides are clipped words. The first word is advertise. Dear audience, if I add suffix with that particular word advertise, then it will be sounded as advertisement, not as advertisement, and its clip word is add. The next example of clip word is motorbike as bike, brother as bro. Burst as B-U-S-T burst, cafeteria as cafe, 
and chemistry assigned subject as chem examination as exam and pressure cooker as cooker in which we cook our food the next slide is how many types are there of clipping words normally there are four types of possible clipping words the first one is back clipping the second one is for clipping the third one is mixed clipping and the last possible type of clipping words is compound clipping now each of the type is over here in its details back clipping examples advertisement as ad examination as exam and gymnasium as gym dear audience as you are watching on your slides that uh, rest of the letters in the word advertisement have been cut off or deleted and just the first two letters are over here as in examples of back clipping and the same case lies with the rest of the two examples in, as examination and gymnasium and the next type of clipping word is for clipping words on the slide the first word is robot and it will be written as more it is meant to be that the first two letters of the word remote have been deleted or clipped and the second one is parachute as shoot cockroach as roach telephone the maximumly used thing under the sun as phone and now on your slide the third and fourth type is over there mixed clipping words and compound clipping words mixed clipping words examples influenza as flu and refrigerator as fridge now look at the examples of compound clipping words the words are on the left side of your slide dear audience the first word is cable telegram as cable gram the second one is organization man as or hyphen man the third one is optical art as opt art and the fourth one on your slide is aluminum cut as lino cut now the next type of an abbreviation is portmanteau dear audience the spell of this particular caption is p o r t whereas while sounding this word or will be remained silent now talk about its definition it is a blend of words in which parts of multiple words are combined into a new word the focus and stress is on a new word formation now we talk about the origin of the caption a type of an abbreviation portmanteau this particular word has been derived from french word portal which means carry and mentals means mental and it was devised in mid 16th century Dear spectators, dear audience, now I talk about the etymology of the caption, a type of an abbreviation, portmanteau. It was first introduced by Charles Lethwaite Dodson, who was born on 27th of January 1832 and was died on 14th of January 1898. He was an English author. a poet and a math and mathematician as well his pen name was lewis carroll dear audience i would like to share my information with you that pen name is meant to be the name that a writer uses in his writings no it is a practical information regarding when for the first time this word was divided 
and the word was watchman chu it was first devised in the book named through the looking glass in 1871 what is another name for this certain word watchman chu and another name for it is blend now here I would share information regarding its concise definition of Portman Chu. When one blends two or more words together to make one word with a new meaning. Here, look its examples. The word is smoke, and it is the blend of smoke and fog. The next one is interconnected plus network as internet. Brunch as breakfast and lunch, and spoke as spoon and fork, and these are the things which we use are eating. And the next type of an abbreviation is shorting. Dear audience, first look at its definition. It is one more type of an abbreviation, and in this type, the end of the full word is cut off. Dear spectators, the stress and the focus in short thing is that the end of the full word is cut off and look at its examples, dear. The words are on the left side of the slide and its short thing words are right side of your slide. The word is approximately and its short thing word is approx, laboratory as lab. Let me sign as limo to the maximum as to the max. Legitimate as legit and rehabilitation is as rehab at its shortening, dear audience. Dear audience, dear spectators, it is the possible last type of an abbreviation and that is on your slide as a caption of contraction. First of all, we will discuss regarding its definition and its definition is it is a one more type of an abbreviation it is also known as a short form or shortened words when two words are shortened in form and are put together to form one new word it is then to be contraction Now look at its example, the last type of an abbreviation. The first one, the word is I am and its contextual form is I, symbol of contraction followed by aim. And the next word is cannot and its contextual form is can't. The next word, the third one is I have and its contextual form is I, Contracted symbol followed by VE. Then the fourth one, or not, as contracted form as aren't. And the last words of this examples of the caption contraction as well as of this lecture, the words are they would or they had, and its contracted form is they. And then the sign of symbol of contraction followed by D. Dear audience, dear spectator, thanks to you all for your precious time.